I wanted to do a packing video on my Jujube Hobo Bee in the Legacy Collection. This is a Marquez, I believe it's pronounced, print. It is the newest uh, Legacy print to be released as of this point. And I think it's really pretty. Uh, it's kind of a um, checkerboard sort of print. And um, it doesn't bother my eyes like Queen of the Nile did, which is um, also kind of a chaotic looking print. Um, but this one doesn't. You can look at it and it doesn't look like it's moving or anything like that. I actually had to sell my Queen of the Nile uh, light because it was totally messing with my eyes. But this one is, the only thing it does to my eyes is make them feel um, happy. <laughs> I really like this print. It's very pretty. I think it's very classy. Um, I did remove the original uh, belt that it came with, the messenger shop it came with, and I um, unsewed or unstitched rather the shoulder pad from it and then put it on this black seatbelt strap. So that's why that looks a little different, but I think it looks really great with the seatbelt strap. So this is the front. Again, it has this gold hardware that all the legacy bags do. Inside. Pretty standard, just standard hobo bee. Back. And the other side. So, on the outside of the bag, I currently just have, I actually just got home about 30 minutes ago from picking up my son from kindergarten. And um, we are contending with a new baby who does not like his car seat and having to wait in the car line because we live kind of far from school can't just walk there so he screams in his car seat and I have to get there kind of early and um, I give him a bottle while he's sitting in his car seat just to make life easier so it's like he drank about an ounce of that so I like these vent air bottles because if you are going to give your baby a bottle while he's in the car seat they have that kind of um, angle and so you know you're not he's not sucking a lot of air you know when he's drinking it and the new drop-ins which are my favorite bottles of all time those also now have a hinge on them that allows them to to have that same angle so i think that's pretty cool so that was in this side bottle pocket and then in this side bottle pocket i just have some cheap sunglasses i cannot get nice ones because i am terrible about keeping track of them and i lose them all the time so in this um passy pot it's the matching marquez i hope i'm pronouncing that right um Passy pod, and that just has two pacifiers in it. I think one's a Tommy Tippy, and then the other is Ma'am, which is what my baby prefers. Okay, I don't have anything in this electronics pocket here because it holds my phone, and I'm usually I'm using it currently to record. In the mommy pocket, it looks like this, and I just have a pack of Annie's. Bunny grams in there. We had a lot of errands today, so I did a lot of um, bribery. Um, and then that's really all that's in that. It's just kind of sitting there. And then there's a pen. And I have a Marquez small set piece, which you guys have seen if you've seen my other videos. And this just has um, Mommy Needs, so a compact lip balm, some Advil. That's all that's in, in there. And there's two mesh pockets that run along the back, and then a long zipper pocket. Um, and the other um, zipper pocket, I'm sorry, out of the mesh pocket, I just have my Bubble Trouble First Aid kit. And nothing on the key fob. I actually have a um, carabiner for my um, keys. I just clip it to the D-rings. In this long zipper pocket, I just have some breast pads, and I think that's it. Yeah, I put some pads in there too. So just a place I just put my sanitary items. So that's what's in the mommy pocket. In the back of the bag, there's this nice snap closure. And this will give you an idea of how much jujube can fit. This really is not a big pocket. You can look at it like from here, it's just not a very deep, well, it's deep enough, but it's just not very um, wide. 
I have uh, a pack of 10 Honest Company wipes, and then it does, I want to show you guys, it does fit a Kindle. So this is um, a Kindle Fire. This needs to be clean because my son uses it, and it's full of greasy little fingerprints. But it does fit in there, and it even snaps. So I wanted to show you that. It would probably fit like, um, you know, any kind of smaller size tablet, like the um, iPad Mini or um, the Newbie or things like that. So that's on the outside of the bag. So the inside of the bag looks like this right now. You have a mesh pocket on this side, a zipper pocket, and then you have two mesh pockets in the back and a long zipper pocket on the back of the bag. So what I have in here currently is my large Fairy Tella set piece. Um, I learned from watching other videos and just trial and error that a quick is just humongous in a hobo bee. So I decided that I would only use um, my set pieces and, and quicklets and stuff like that inside the hobo bee. And it's fine. I mean, even though this is not as big as a quick, you'll see that it holds quite a bit. I mean, I have four, um, usually have four diapers. These are size two huggies in my quicks. But so this has holds two, a travel pack of wipes, trash bags, hand sanitizer, and disposable change pad. And that fits fine in there. And there's actually room to spare. And it has, um, as you've seen in other videos, like Grady's mom, Atik's mom, that kind of thing, it has this nice um, short strap that you can uh, use to pick up or use as a purse. And then it sits, it stands up on its own because of this um, flat bottom. I just want to show off. I think this, I really wasn't a huge fan of Fairy Tella, but I like it in small scale. And I love the bird. It's one of my favorite characters and the dragon. So. I was happy to get this um, set piece. I actually had traded my set with another pink ladies because we liked each other's print placement better. So that worked out well. So that's what's in there. And then at the very bottom is just an um, Aiden and I swaddle blanket. And that kind of just helps me to keep the bag um, open as well as protects the lining if something were to spill at the bottom. And then... There's nothing else except for just a deodorizer. Okay, on this side, mesh pocket, I just have my Be Mine, which I have shown in my other videos that I'm using it currently as a wallet, and it's going pretty good. Um, it's not the most organized if you're using it as a wallet, and it's a little big if you're using it as a wallet too. So I'm probably going to end up using it as either a makeup bag or a first aid kit. I haven't decided, but it's working fine for now as a wallet. So, and even I have a Samsung Galaxy S5 and I can, even though it's tight, it's quite a squeeze, I can um, zip my phone up in there. Like if I want to just grab my wallet out and go. So I highly recommend mine. And this zipper pocket, look how pretty the lining is. It's that pretty gold lining. In this zipper pocket, I have just two little coin purses from my older boys, full of quarters. And then in the pocket, mesh pocket on the back right, is my fairy tella small set piece. You can see the dragon there. In the back. I like the sparkly blue princess. I'm not a big princess person, but I, I think she's pretty sparkly. And there's a little latte. Um, and then in here, right now in here, I just have those little travel um, to go infamil, four ounce infamil packets. And I fold it up. So that's all that's in there. And this mesh pocket on the left is my new. Pixie Dust Quicklet. And this is actually my first Quicklet. I got this from the Buy Sell Trade page and the mama that I bought it from said um, she got it made from Verla and then she didn't end up using it so she was just selling it. And I got really lucky. I um, These usually go really quickly and she was selling it for a very good price, especially new. And I just happened to be on the page when um, 
she was posting her ad and so that worked out well and actually these fit a lot i'm still planning on sending in maybe not this paycheck but the next sending in my um unikiki change pad to make quicklets because this is this fits perfectly in the hobo bee pocket so very nice and they they fit a ton i mean i have um a, a onesie for my it's a three month onesie and then five tea pants and underwear so just in case one of my older boys had an accident i can use this or um, i need to change my baby's clothes and, and it just fits perfectly in there so very happy with this and pixie dust is a really pretty print when it came out i was not a fan because it came out um, in the summertime and i thought this looked very wintry but now with fall coming and everything really starting to like this so that's what's in there and then in the long zipper pocket, I have, sorry, I have my windows open so I hear some traffic going by. I don't think I have much back here. I think I just have coupons. Yeah. I have coupons and then it's a, a deal saver printed out that I really need to use before it expires. So that is everything that is currently in my Marquez Hobo Bee. And I know a lot of people were asking for packing videos um, on the Marquez Hobo Bee because it, um, it's one of those prints I think you really kind of have to see in motion or with your own eyes to get a feel for and, and to see if, you, um, if it works for you. I think it's gorgeous and I love that I have the matching um, Marquez set pieces. I'm not so matchy-matchy, so I didn't put my, my uh, Marquez set piece in the Hobo Bee, but I think the red fairy tale looks really good with it so toki doki and um and the legacy line just all goes well together so that's it if you like my video or my previous videos go ahead and subscribe to my channel um i um don't really have anything that i'm really dying to buy at this point uh i, I, I actually sold my duchess be prepared it's got kind of tired of polka dots so I'm, I am planning on getting another Be Prepared, possibly in the new print that just came out. I believe it's called Magic Merlot, something like that. But it's gorgeous. It looks kind of like a Petunia Pickle Bottom, Jujube um, combination. It's very pretty. So I may get that, at least in the Hobo Bee. But... Oh, I'm getting a Chocolate Roses Super Bee. That's what I was forgetting. Yes, I'm getting a Super Bee, Chocolate Roses. So that should be here um, hopefully this week, maybe next. I ordered that from Nordstrom's. So it's a constant cycle of bags in and out of this house, um, but they're just, it's just fun. So I uh, highly recommend the Hobo Bee. It's a great versatile bag. Um, this was perfect for today. I took, I uh, had just my three month old um, and my four year old with me this morning and when we went to the grocery store and I wore the baby and the hobo bee actually goes is comfortable over the ergo straps it doesn't slip or anything and um so that was it was a perfect size bag for for the grocery store and then just um you know small errands so definitely recommend and it held all this okay well I hope you enjoyed and have a great day